Welcome to the 2024 baseball season preview. We have our student athletes, Jack Poist, Michael Sprocket, and Sam Seeker with us here this afternoon. Um, we'll open it up to questions. So I think Megan, you're up first. Um, so guys, you have a lot of returning players on this team. Um, what have you guys seen in those players and each other throughout the off season? Uh, well, uh, we've been putting in a lot of work, a lot of time, um, day after day. Really, all we've been focusing on is just stacking great days, um, trying to keep our focus basically in between the lines, uh, skills field over there, uh, not trying to look at what everyone else is saying. Um, so our biggest thing that, that I've seen from these returners is leadership, really, is we're bringing, bringing guys along, getting everybody on the boat, and we're, uh, we're looking to do some damage. To piggyback off of that, um, we have a lot of returners, but also we have a lot of new faces as well. And uh, it kind of started this summer. We had a lot of guys come in early from summer baseball. I know I played half the summer. A couple other guys played half the summer. And the combination of the new faces and a lot of the returners, we were able to build some chemistry right away and work out early on the field. And it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun hitting off the machines and shagging fly balls and stuff. So I think that all kind of carried over into the fall, and we hit the ground running. And I think that um, our returners, you know, we've gotten super close over the past two years, and um, we really have, like, a really good group. And like they said, like, we've kind of bonded together and got some of the younger guys to join with us, some of the new faces, and um, we're all bought in, and we're pretty solid as a team right now. Your schedule this season is um, pretty <laughs> intense. You play Wake Forest at one point. What games are you guys most excited for? Uh, obviously, Wake is, is going to be a lot of fun. It's a cool little litmus test for us, I think. Uh, we will, you know, obviously, who else we got? We got Cincinnati. Cincinnati's going to be a good Illinois, one. Duke. Illinois, Duke. Um, looking forward to all of them, really. Just trying to go out and uh, play Zips baseball the right way. We've been taught to play it and uh, see what happens. Yeah, absolutely. I think, obviously, the first game is most important. Get ready for Illinois. We open up against them. Doubleheader on Friday at Wake. And just take it one game at a time, you know not fearing any opponent, go out and have fun, play our ball, and we know we can beat anyone at any time. So, I'm really excited about the schedule this year. Um, I always try and tell, especially the younger guys, like it's an adjustment first when you see the big Power 5 name on the, on the jersey, but um, we just tell them it's just any other team. You know, it's still baseball at the end of the day, and uh, if we know what we have to do, we'll take care of business. You um, mentioned uh, playing Zips baseball. What is playing Zips baseball to you guys? Well, to us, it's uh, relentless effort, competitive excellence, and power of the unit. Those are our three biggest things. So if we can hammer those down, um, you know, staying focused on every play, knowing where we need to be and executing that, and uh, having each other's backs, that's going to be the biggest thing for us. I think this year we've done a lot of good things, and we've focused a lot on the small details um, that make teams not just good but great. And I think it's really important for us, too. We've worked on it really hard. We've had days where we've been beat up and physically, mentally worn out. And I think that's going to be important because once we get in a game, it's going to be second nature. We're built for it. We've been tested, and we're going to be ready to rock. So and This new staff has really instilled a, a very strong and tough culture, and um, we've definitely bought into that, and we keep working on it each day. goes into my next question with uh, the new staff. Um, you guys have been on the program for a while. Just talk about the adjustments that you've had to made, make over your time here at Akron, and then what is it about this staff that is the right one, right, is the one that's going to put the Zips into the MAC tournament come the end of the spring? Well, you know, obviously I've been here uh, three years. Seeger's been here two. Same with Poist. Uh, we've, been, we've been through a lot of baseball. Um, and I guess the best way I can put it is when, when you know, you know you've got the right guys. Um, and this staff um, has done an incredible job instilling a culture, uh, making sure that no matter the circumstances, we're going to hold ourselves to a standard every single day. And, you know, I think as a whole, everybody has bought into that, and we're looking to do some real damage. I think another thing that's been great so far is the competition aspect of things. You know, we have a lot of new faces, a lot of returners, and a lot of young guys, and I think every day of practice, whether it's infield charts, or pitching stuff or hitting, everything's kind of in a competition. So you can't just show up to the yard and say, oh, I'm going to practice today and just kind of go half, you know, half effort. You got to go hard every single day because there's a competition and there's results that come with it. So 
that's been a big thing is just having that competition every day in practice. And I think every single guy, returners and young guys and transfers have benefited from that. So it'll, it'll make us ready to go. And as Sprock said, the standard's the standard. And uh, one thing this new staff has done is, hey, you come back, you come out of practice, you know, you're a little sluggish that day. Like, they're going to hold you to that standard. Um, as well as some of our leadership, um, we're always holding each other accountable and just keeping everyone to, to the, the highest standard that we uh, have created. Man, Jack, you're leading me into each next question. So you got <laughs> First the leader, yeah. leadership is now the next thing, right? Like you guys are the three captains this year. What leadership qualities do each of you guys bring individually and then collectively? Uh, personally, I, Seeker and I are kind of on the same page here. We like to lead uh, with a lot of love. Um, just knowing that no matter what, we're going to be there for each other. Uh, when bad things happen, we're looking to, to clear that and move on to the next play. Um, and at the end of the day, like, we're just trying to have each other's backs. We're just going to be there for each other. And I think that that's the biggest thing um, that has jumped from previous years to this year is that no matter the circumstances, we are always uh, going to be there for each other. Mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest thing I've learned in my entire life, my baseball career, other sports growing up, is just leading with love, kind of like what Sprock said. And, the biggest thing for me is just building relationships with all these guys, the returners, new guys, everything like that, being best possible friends we can be on and off the field because it makes you want to play for each other. And I think that is just super important because if you don't want to play for the guy next to you or you don't have a good relationship with them, you're not going to play well together. So that's the biggest thing for me is just trying to build a really strong relationship with everyone around me. And then if I have that relationship with them, that allows me to be a little more vocal and guys will want to follow what we're preaching and, and follow us. So, And to go kind of hand in hand with these other two guys, they're more of the vocal leaders. And um, I'm more of a lead by example type. Um, I'm always trying to, you know, do the drill to a full extent, um, always give my best effort and stuff like that. So I just try and set an example for the rest of the team to be like, okay, Jack, if he's always doing these drills like this, I need to be doing them as well. Um, and it goes back to an accountability thing. Um, you see me, for example, like going hard and you see other people like slacking, you, you feel like you're, you're a misfit, you know? And um, so you don't want to be that guy to be left out. And uh, to wrap it up as a group, like I feel like we, we all bounce, bounce different ideas off each other well. Um, and we're able to keep like a very wide variety type of leadership around at all times. Sprocket, this is more specifically to you, just because you're a catcher. Uh, talk about the pitching staff that you have, kind of break us down uh, what the pitching staff is looking like over the course of the spring. Um, unbelievable improvement from what I've seen so far uh, in the fall and this early spring. Um, we have you know, four or five guys that are gonna be absolutely dead nuts in my opinion. Um, but overall, as a staff, I think we have a lot more depth and I think we have uh, a lot of guys that are going to go out there, put the ball in the strike zone, and let our defense make some very good plays. Going to go right into defense. Sam, you get to talk about the defense and position players from, uh, from your position and then just throughout uh, the, the, the eight field players. Yeah, well, same thing I talked about earlier with the competition thing. I think it's made things a lot better in practice. Guys are locked in every single day, and you can't take a day off or you'll see yourself at the bottom of a defensive uh, – sheet you know we keep track of errors and all types of things in the infield so guys have to bring it every single day and I think our defense is tremendous compared to the past and it's going to pay dividends because like Sprock said when guys put it in the strike zone and put it over the plate we got to be behind them and make plays all around and from what I've seen so far we're more than capable of making every single play tough plays easy plays routine we have guys that can do it all. So um, that's going to be really important for us this year is to just make the simple plays. And then we also have guys that can go out and make great plays everywhere on the field, outfield and infield. And Jack, you get to talk about the offense a little bit and what you're seeing in the potential bats we've got here at Akron. And then also kind of the style that um, Coach brings to his offensive schemes, uh, making sure we get runs across the plate. So not only do we have several great hitters. Um, we have an abundance of those, but it doesn't necessarily go down to like, oh, who can hit, you know? Um, 
every single guy that's going to be in the lineup is going to give – he's either going to be a tough out. Um, they're going to give you a good at bat. They're going to put strain on the pitcher, you know. Um, and that's a pretty pretty fair way to describe our offense in general, you know. Um, low scoring game, like we'll be able to execute, do the little things, bunts, hit and run, stuff like that. Um, and if it's a high scoring game, like we'll be out there and we'll be able to compete in that way as well um, and slug and do stuff like that. So we have a pretty all-around solid lineup, I'd say.